An orthopedic surgeon at Sick Kids by day, photographer by night, he has amassed more than 100,000 Instagram followers with his beautiful pictures of athletes, surfers, and dancers artfully submerged in pools, lakes, and of course the ocean. Lucas Murnahan is here to tell us about the first solo exhibit and photography book called Beneath the Surface. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Lucas. The, the photos, because what we were talking about, oh, he does underwater photography. These photos are stunning. They're absolutely beautiful. Thanks, Roger. How do you, uh, how do you, how do you decide what you're going to do as your focus for, each, for the photos? Um, I mean, it started as, a, as an exploration. I don't think I had a really clear idea the first time I went underwater. I certainly didn't imagine I'd be doing this. I think now uh, an idea will come to me either in a dream or I'll be, uh, I'll be maybe in an art gallery and I'll see something that references uh, you know, something in art history and I'll, I'll think about how to kind of create the emotion uh, through one of my images that way. And did you have an aha moment with something? You were just, you happened to see somebody beneath, you cut them underneath and said, I, I want to do more with this? Yeah, I had started, uh, surf photography was how I got into this. That's how I got the gear. That's how I uh, realized that, you know, water could be this fascinating medium to work in. Um, I slipped underwater because, you know, we were here in Toronto in the winter and I just wanted to shoot more. And, and obviously that was a lot easier to do um, in a pool setting. I started with some swimmers, some water polo players, but it wasn't until I got one of them just to just to stand at the bottom of the pool and do nothing mm -hmm. uh, that something kind of clicked, and I realized that there was uh, that there was something there. There was something more that I could uh, that I could explore. What do you like about it? What, what 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 do you take away from it? I mean, our lives are incredibly busy. They're sometimes um, a little too loud. Uh, they're a little too manic. Um, there's a lot of things above the surface that we'd kind of like to get away from. Uh, so when I go underwater. Uh, Everything goes quiet. Uh, my cell phone obviously stops ringing, um, and uh, for that minute, maybe, maybe you know, 45 seconds, um, I'm completely free. And in that moment, I can, I can tap into something that maybe is a little deeper, something that goes back a little further, um, a little bit more childlike, a little bit more playful. Uh, and yeah, that's where hopefully, hopefully that comes through in the images that we create. No, and you free dive, and so there's there, nobody's wearing tanks or anything are, on any of these shots. That's correct. Yeah, I um, I thought it was really important. First of all, because I'm asking you know my subjects to try to do something underwater, it seemed reasonable that I would try to do the same thing. I think it really helps that uh, the trust, uh, the link between the subject uh, and the photographer, uh, it really helps with communication. Um, and I think there is something to that that synchronicity of breath that we kind of. We kind of work and get into a rhythm. I don't know if you've done like a yoga class or something mm -hmm. like that, and everyone's breathing together, and there's this kind of sense of, of shared experience. And then through that, uh, I think that's, that's, uh, that comes through in the, uh, in the images. And everybody, it, it almost transcends. Because yeah. I would be panicking. If, first of all, I wouldn't be getting down, but I'd be panicking. Like, how do they, they are, everybody looks so calm in those photos, and there's no bubbles floating up. They're just surreal. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing the ones that made it into the book. Yeah, um, there's a lot that didn't, of course. Yeah, but. absolutely. Uh, it's... That's a big part of it. Probably the first, you know, 30 minutes, uh, maybe hour in some shoots is all about getting that sense of calm, um, getting that sense of trust, uh, working past some of those uh, those expectations of, of what things should look like or how somebody should feel. Uh, one of the easiest things for me to say is that nobody's good at this. Nobody kind of comes in and is an underwater model. Um, and so all I ask is that they try to tap into what it is that they can uh, that they can bring to the shoot that's in, that's unique to them, uh, and um, and hopefully that calmness comes through because when someone's looking at the image, nobody wants to look at an image that they feel makes them anxious. They want to yeah. feel that soothing calm that comes through. Yeah, and they they are very serene these these photos. What are the how do the you don't call them models? You call them uh, I, I don't like the term models. Yeah. most of them aren't models actually. Uh, models, unfortunately, I'll do respect to models. Uh, often have a preconceived notion of what beautiful is. Uh, they've done a lot of photo shoots. They think they understand um, how they should pose, what looks good. Uh, and I often am going for a slightly different kind of vibe, something a little bit more melancholy, a little bit more emotive. Um, and uh, the term that I like to use is called casual improbability. So I like it to look like they're not doing anything um, while they're in this fantastical environment. And usually by doing less, uh, they do more. And this is all pretty much all natural light on it, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've played around a little bit with artificial light, but I really like to use available light. I'm fascinated by what, uh, I mean, photography is all about just capturing light in different ways. And, and water just gives you another 
layer uh, to go through and it all comes down to the angles that it's hitting at hitting it above the water and then what it does is it goes through the water and sometimes even the makeup of what the water is whether it's salt water whether it's fresh water whether it's chlorinated uh, whether it's uh, cold whether it's warm the light will uh, behave differently okay Lucas thank you very much for joining us we appreciate it and uh, he's giving the Lucas is giving Torontonians a first-hand look at what lies beneath in his first solo exhibition and photography book Launch. It's beneath the surface. Now, the exhibition runs from uh, runs until March 2nd at Surf the Greats, 250 Carla, one, uh, Unit 101. And it's not open today. Today's the only day it's not open, but until March 2nd, it'll be open after that. Absolutely. Right? Beautiful. Thank you very much for coming in. For more, go to breakfasttelevision.ca. We have more on BT after the break.